The main reasons to come to a running track are it's a great place to work on your speed, your running efficiency, but it's also such a measured distance that the sessions can be absolutely spot on. So today we're going to show you our top three speed sessions that you can do at the track. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments if you got on with these sessions and which one was your favourite or least favourite. Um, make sure to hit subscribe for more content like this and action from our pros. Running on the track can be fun and it is the best place to really home in your speed and your efficiency. It is the best place to work on that for running off the bike. It's also so much easier to get your pacing right on the track rather than being on the road. You don't have traffic lights to contend with and you know exactly how far you're running. So when we get to the running track, we always run anti-clockwise, but I'd really recommend for your warm-up, running the other way, clockwise. Track running is such a stress on the body that it's nice to even things out. And don't come to the running track, just do one lap and then get ready to go. That is not gonna warm up your body enough. I would recommend three laps, maybe four, nice and easy, but again, stay in the outside lane, lane seven, lane eight. So you're out of everyone's way and it's nice, easy jogging. You have to warm up the body before you attack that key track session. So when you come to do a track session, because it's such a fast session, I'd also recommend bringing your racing flats, the trainers you're gonna race in. Do your warm up in your everyday running trainers. And then once you finish your warm up, change over to the shoes you're gonna race in. You wanna to train to race, so it makes sense to do that. So once you finish your warm-up run, it's really nice to do some nice stretching. Um, I'd always start with um, a half kneel. So you half kneel, and if you're kneeling on your left leg, you're bringing your left heel to your bum. As you're doing this, really turn on that glute muscle and slowly lean forward. This is a nice quad stretch, and you might even feel it in the front of your hip as well. Since we're in a half kneel, it's best to stay in that position, but stretch one leg in front of you. And then again, slowly come forward. And this is a really nice, gentle way to stretch the hamstring. We need to look after those calves, especially on the track and when we're running quick. So it's really, really important to stretch them. Again, up against the fence or a steeplechase barrier, we need to start with a straight leg and slowly we're not looking at, at end ranges at really aggressive stretching here you need to do a straight leg and a bent leg leg calf i always like to finish with what they call the world's greatest stretch it's a great one for opening up your thoracic the rotation and your hips so you go in a plank position and you put your right leg your right foot to the outside of your right hand when you're in that position, slowly sink your hips. At the same time, lift that right hand up and rotate round. This is a really nice deep stretch. You slowly come back down and then you repeat with your left leg. You want to do between four and five of these. By then, you'll be ready to go and really execute a great track session. So the first session is a speed endurance session. It's four times 200 meter reps. You take approximately 30 seconds rest after each 200 meters. But after the fourth one, you get an extra 30 seconds rest. So that's for you to reset yourself, get your heart rate down, maybe have a drink. And we repeat that four to six times. As you build into it, maybe you want to repeat it up to 10 times. The key is to hold that speed. That's why we get the extra rest after every four reps. It's a great, great session to really work on your form, your technique, your upper body, but running as fast as you can over that 200 metre rep. It's also important that the first rep and the last rep, there's not too much difference between the time. You really want to hold that speed for a long period. 
the speed endurance session. The next session is the classic and perfect for those doing Olympic distance and upwards. We are doing 400 meter reps. So basically one lap round of the track, except we're doing it 10 times. Now you can actually make this session longer and build up to 25 times round, which is about 10K in total for the session. So these reps want to be done at race pace, and then we are taking 40 seconds recovery in between each lap and then we go again. The next session up is a pyramid. You start with a short rep and as the reps get longer, we slow down slightly. But then once we get to the, to the longest rep, we then go back down. So it's important not to go too hard too early. That is the key to the session. It's all about pacing. So we do a 400, then an 800, then a one kilometer, then a mile, 1600 meters. Then we do another 1600 meters, an eight, a kilometer, 800 and 400. The rest is also ascending. So you start with a 45 seconds rest, then a minute, then 75 and then 90. And then we go back down all the way till we finish. It's all about pacing. So you finish strong, you finish fast. That is the basic pyramid track session. So once you finish your session, it's important to keep that body warm. So if it's cold, put your warm clothes back on, or if it's nice and warm in the summer, take your sweaty rest off and put something on nice and warm. And once you've finished your hard workout, it's important to get two or three laps nice and easy, just to bring the heart rate right back down. Definitely dirt skin when you cool down. And again, I'd recommend running the wrong way around the running track, just to even things up as well. Always in the outside, but really nice and easy chatting pace. Running on the track is hard. It can really be tough, but the small amount of pain is far right outweighed by the reward of that race day feeling. You can also do track sessions with your friends, with other people, but please don't get dragged in to run in their pace. Stick to your pace and really make sure you have the confidence to do that. These sessions are hard, so remember not to do them on the same day that you're doing a hard bike or a hard gym session. You want to be doing these sessions when you're feeling fresh and you can ready get ready to go fast. And that's right, and we're not suggesting do three runs a week, three track sessions. These kind of sessions you're adding in once a week, once every 10 days. And again, you want to do four to six weeks, nice easy running before you hit the track. It's important to go into these sessions well fueled and taking care of recovery straight afterwards. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel and let us know in the comments if you tried any of these sessions and how you found them. We'll see you on the next one.